Every single AFC North team won this week besides the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, the Steelers, of course, lost back-to-back games with the Cardinals and Patriots, right? That's happened. That's done. There are four more games to go. And today, when I woke up watching the last few minutes, the Ravens won in overtime, the Bengals took care of the Colts, and also the Browns, the Browns with Joe Flacco beat the Jaguars, meaning here's the AFC North standings. So we have the Baltimore Ravens on top 10 and 3, Browns 8 and 5, Steelers 7 and 6, and the Bengals 7 and 6. So we're coming third, right? That's you know what's crazy too, and I'm gonna I'm gonna about to show you guys the playoff race right now. Every single team in the AFC North is in the playoffs, all right? Which is nuts. It's nuts. So I was hoping to see the Baltimore lose. That would have been fantastic, but they got away with one against the Rams in the overtime. Kickoff return went down the sideline. The Bengals um, took care of business with the Colts, and I think the Colts had one of their quarterbacks get injured too. I think so. The Bengals too. They got in, in the quarterback. They're seven and six, the seven seed. The Steelers go back into the playoff race because. There's a reason why the Steelers are back there. You're probably thinking, well, the Steelers don't deserve to be in the playoffs. It's not about if they deserve or not or whatnot. It's actually that the facts are the Steelers are in there. And the reason why the Steelers are in the playoffs is because uh, in today's games, we had, if I go to the scores, uh, we had the Jets. The Jets beat the Texans. Texans were also hanging on to a playoff threat or, you know, with one win, they could have been in. So in, in overall, in the games around the league today, it was 31-27, Browns over Jags. Bucks won 20, 29, 25. Who cares? Bears won 28, 13. Does not relevant to us. The Bengals won 34, 14. Absolutely smashed the Colts, right? And the Jets won 30 to 6, improving to 5 and 8. So the Texans fall to 7 and 6. Now, I believe because we're 7 and 6, I think we have a better divisional record uh, than they do. That's why we have their spot. Now, with this playoff, uh, playoff race and the reason why we're there, so the Bengals there are seven and six, and the Steelers are, are seven and six, six seed. And of course, now the Browns eight and five at the fifth seed. Every single AFC North team is in the playoffs, which would be nuts. I think if that ever happened, if we win our games out and everyone wins their games out and we all get in, that might be the first time in NFL history for that to happen, is to have every single AFC North team go to the playoffs. Now, there is one thing I want to look at too. Now, this won't change on your screen, but it will change on mine. If the Denver Broncos win today, right, the Denver Broncos win, that means the Colts will go to seventh, right? Uh, who else we got there? If the Bills win, it doesn't change too much. The KC wins, they improve their spot. I believe we have a few more AFC, uh, AFC, AFC games. If the, uh, if the Miami wins, they go to first. So you'd see Ravens go to second. And if the Titans win, nothing else really changes. So this week, this week, the Pittsburgh Steelers are six because the Jets beat the Texans. And I was hoping to see all the other AFC North guys lose, but that didn't happen. Isn't that wild? I think it's crazy. Even though we lost two games in a row, we're still in the, the playoff race. And look, the Pittsburgh Steelers from now, they have four games to go. I'm not saying they're going to make the playoffs. I, I, I'm i hopeful. I'm very hopeful they can, but they got to turn it around with a quarterback play, O-line play. Look, coaching as well, everything, every single part of this team needs to wake up and do something for the last four games. It has to happen. We've got to see it now. I already talked about my Mike Tomlin stuff. I won't go into that. And I've talked about my, my Mitch Trubisky stuff before. Not a big fan of him, but the Steelers need to do something in the next four games to have a chance. You know, they've got to win this game versus the Colts. If the Colts win, they might take our spot. Let me see. If I go to week 15, if the Colts win, I believe they will take our spot. They will. They'll move from seven to six, and Houston will go to, to seven seed as well. So there's a lot of teams around that area, the, the, the Houston Texans, the Bills, the Colts, all fighting for seven and six right now, whereas the Cleveland Browns, surprisingly enough, at eight and five with Joe Flacco, they hold their spot in the fifth seed. Now, it would have been cool as Steelers to you know beat the Cardinals, beat the Patriots, and, and have nine wins, and we could have had a chance for the AFC North. But right now, it's really difficult. The fact that uh, the Baltimore Ravens are 10 and 3, 8 and 5, you'd have to see the Baltimore Ravens collapse over the next four games uh, and, of course, lose one to us. And then we'd have, well, once they get to 12, once they get to 12 wins, I think it's kind of done. But uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers have to win four in a row to go 11 and 6. And we own, we'd own then the, the tiebreak over the Ravens. Uh, if the Browns win four, shoot, man. Can you believe that? The Browns could even win. I'm not even sure if the Browns have ever won the division. The Browns could win the AFC North if the Ravens fall away. So Browns 8-5, and five, Ravens are 10-3. and three. 
they look almost certain for a lock, and the Bengals and Steelers are hanging on by a thread, but going in two different directions. The Bengals are winning their games by 20 points. We are losing to really bad teams and look in the other direction. All I can hope is that the Steelers actually wake up and start to fight because we have a chance. They're in the playoffs, man. Six seed, seven, six right now. We'd verse KC, but we are still one month away from football to find out what happens. But to me, guys, it's, I don't know about you guys, it's day by day. It's day by day. One game, one week at a time. Don't look at, don't even think about Bengals in two weeks' time. Don't even think about the Seahawks or the Ravens. Take on the opponent next week. That is the Colts. And we don't know who the quarter, quarterback's going to be. I think Minshew was in, injured today. Something happened there. But whoever it is, whoever the quarterback is, take on the Colts and get the job done.